All right, that was approximately two seconds. I just hit the button, kicked it back on. I think this warrants, you know, some dull sitting there watching an engine run time. It's interesting. I feel that it's interesting at least. There. I don't know how many other people will feel that it's interesting or significant or anything like that. No, it's not over Unity. Yet. Yeah. Just trying to get this camera stand down a bit. There we go. Sorry for all the shaking. If I play with a throttle, it does slow down because it lean mi leans the mixture. Um, wonder if I can get the wonder if I can get the injection in there just a little closer. Okay, if you heard the RPM pick up like I did, and I just pushed the injection in, maybe. Three mil or uh, yeah, three millimeters. So we are still losing hydrogen uh, to the environment. This has more to go for us. Even using this little of fuel, um, we're not using all of the fuel. A lot of it we're losing. So there, there's there's a lot to be said for this. It's not running as rough as it could because there isn't a positive crankcase vacuum. The uh, crankcase is ventilated from the valve cover on the left, the shiny thing. The black tube normally goes into the air cleaner and the suction from the engine um, pulls a slight vacuum on the crankcase, which means the piston, when it moves back, doesn't ram into a wall of air and it smooths its operation quite a bit. Since we don't have the air cleaner on there, we're lacking that. I should tap it into the intake manifold um, before the carburetor and get a full vacuum on it and it'll smooth out the operation quite a bit. Other than that, it, it's chugging right along. And we've got uh, three minutes roughly, two minutes, 51 seconds. And in addition to the last run, And we're not producing very much. Um, in fact, I should set up, I'm gonna go ahead and set up for a flow test on this video so I can show you that. Another thing to show you that, or what I'm doing with the switch, you'll notice the switch is marked W and G. This is a three way switch. When it's in the up position, it connects to one of these two cables, and the up position connects to the wall. And the G, when the switch is in the down position, it connects to this cable, and it's intended to plug it into the generator. Uh, we got up to about 12 amps, which is why you heard the RPM start to pick up. I could probably open the throttle a little bit more and get some more RPM out of it. Um, right now, it's not plugged into the generator, the cord sitting right there. So when I flip it to the G, it effectively turns the cells off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now so you can see that it's actually running on the hydrogen. Cells off, pressure bleeds, and it goes off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. I'm gonna plug in the flow meter. Okay.
Okay. I'm a little shy of water. It's probably about 490 milliliters, 495. And here we go with the flow test. Ready? And so you can see it. Go. And there it is. So we can pull the time off the tape. Um, I'm actually kind of curious to see if I can start it on the hydrant. I haven't tried that. I've always used the fuel exchange. Since I got a couple minutes on this video, what the hey? Worst thing that happens, we get a flash down the hose and our uh, and our reservoir saves us. So there we go. Got to set the camera back down. Okay. I just shut the generator off. So it won't flash back as the motor starts to get up to RPM. I'll turn it back on after I get it spinning. Oh, misaligned. There we go. Get it back in there. There we go. And it starts just fine. What's our time? Seven minutes. I'll let it go ahead and run out. So uh, the ball's in your court there, SSC. <laughs> um, I don't know that I outdid ya, per se, but uh, I got it running, and that's good. So it's return volley. Just, yeah. Just so you guys know, the way EBN works, the way the, the research group is, we build on each other. Um, one person does one test, the next person does the next step, the next person does a step after that. It allows us to save a lot of time, make huge ground real quick, and it's very cost effective. We lean on each other's experience and trust each other, so um, this is just how we do it. So me and me and SSC are having a little playful banter. And uh, good job, Zero, on the torch. Personally, I would have been a little hesitant to do it. Um, I definitely wouldn't do it unobserved. But standing here, if we do have a flashback, I can yank the torch out of there. It won't cut the carburetor in half, so good deal. Take care, guys. I hope, uh, hope this encourages some people. Take it easy.